A true case of hit and run. A crash at a car dealership in Visalia has left several brand new trucks damaged. The suspects escaped, but police have a valuable piece of evidence to help track them down. And that's our top story tonight, live at 6. Good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. The car missed a bend on the road when the accident happened over the weekend on Ben Maddox Way near Tulare Avenue. Action News reporter Cynthia Rose joins us from the newsroom with more on the damages and what police are saying about the suspects that got away. Cynthia. Well, Graciela, the damages are estimated to be about $400,000, but there are still many unanswered questions for investigators, including why the driver and passengers jumped out of the car after the 4 a.m. crash. Police say based on the impact, the people in the car may also be injured. Holy smoke. This cell phone video shows four Chevy Silverado pickups engulfed in flames. Police say the crash happened before dawn Sunday morning when the driver of this Nissan Maxima slammed into the car lot, hitting a pole, igniting a fire, and shearing off a fire hydrant. Witnesses who called 911 told police they saw several people who were in the car running from the burning scene. Well, obviously we have, uh, you know, we can track down uh, documentation. We know who, uh, who the registered owner of the vehicle is. And obviously we're looking forward to uh, contacting the registered owner and uh, getting some insight as to who was driving the vehicle um, at the time of the collision. It took firefighters 20 minutes to take down the flames. When the fire was out, investigators got a closer look at the damages. Visalia Police Sergeant Ozzie Dominguez says officers are also looking to see whether any surveillance cameras in the area may have captured the car before or after the crash. The owner of Giant Automotive says one passerby has provided some valuable tips. There was an eyewitness who had videoed the uh, episode and um, he heard them yell that let's get out of here. The dealership owner says the fire likely began when the gas tank in the Maxima was punctured causing gas to leak then spark. Police say there have been accidents both in south and northbound lanes when the road curves but none have ended in a big fire. The Chevy trucks are a total loss and valued at $200,000. Other damages to the car lot and pole are estimated to be an additional $150,000 to $200,000. And when the driver is found, he or she will likely face felony hit and run charges. But police say they could also face additional charges based on what investigators uncover. In the newsroom, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.